So first I want to ask, how does it feel to be home for the premiere of your new movie, The Inevitable Defeat of Mr. and Pete? You know what, first of all, it's always a treat to be able to come home because I never get to come home and then it makes it that much more better when I have something to bring home, such mm -hmm. as a project that I've been out there on the road working on to bring it back home, you know? Uh -huh. So it's, okay. it's always exciting to have that. Do you like playing characters that are complete opposite of you? Because I know you play Gloria, mm -hmm. which is the heroin addict yes. in the movie as her, uh, the mother of Mr. So how was that? Like, do you like it? You know what? I love playing things that's, to me, the furthest thing from mm -hmm. myself, and I do feel like Gloria is probably the biggest opposite yeah. to myself <laughs> that I've ever done. But I love things that are so real. Oh. Have you seen um, Mr. and Pete yet? No. No? Make but sure you go check it out. We're coming tonight. Are you yeah, coming tonight? Yeah, we're coming. Oh, great. Yes. Well, I'm yeah. going to intro it, and then I'm going to blow the popsicle okay. scene, because I've seen it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite roles, one of my favorite characters that I've done, because it's so different, the complete yeah. opposite of me, because um, all the tattoos, like they would have to put it yeah. on like days in advance, and I was drenched in tattoos. I would never get a tattoo, and then yeah. she was an alcoholic, a prostitute, and a heroin addict. And I'm like, I've never had a drink in my <laughs> life. Oh my God, who am I right now? But I like that stretch. Yeah. And being was, something, you know, it different. Looks I can't, I'm so excited to see it tonight. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I, I would love, I haven't sat in a theater and watched somebody watch a movie I'm in since Drink Girls. Okay. So I kind of want to watch in this case. But then, at times, I want to crawl <laughs> under the chair and not watch, so I'm gonna just, uh, I'm not going to yeah. go. When I heard he was directing, I was like, oh my god, that's awesome. He is amazing. Like, from Soul Food to... Uh, god, he did, uh, what's the other... He did, you know better than yeah. me. Um, <laughs> and Notorious, that was the last oh, he one did he did. Notorious, yeah, I forgot about he's that. He's such an amazing director. Yeah. I think he's one of my favorite directors that I've worked with. Like, I love his approach. Like, he, he's very hands-on. Originally, mm -hmm. I thought he was crazy. Like, okay, look, do you want to play Gloria or do you want me to play Gloria? But once we got on the set, I was like, wow, like, I get it now. Yeah. Like, because at first I was like, he's a bit aggressive, but he was so, like a coach. Yeah, exactly. He'd be yeah. like, roll the camera, keep it going, keep it going, which calms your actor versus stresses us out, you know, and that way you could give your best mm -hmm. by having that freedom to say, oh, so I can go at my pace. Yeah. All right, you know what, I want to do it again. Yeah, he allows that. I think awesome. that's a smart, smart yeah. approach. Okay. Yeah. I understand he's winning an award tonight. Huh? I, yeah. I understand he's winning an award tonight. I guess yeah, he I is, think. honey, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. I will be there to support him <laughs> <laughs> And I'm sure it's well deserved, because he's from here. Yeah, I didn't know that. Because originally they wanted to shoot the film here. But we don't have projects apparently anymore. Yeah, they took them all away. Yeah, and that's why we had to do it in New York. The pickies are gone. The yeah. yeah, everything's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, like, how was working with Alicia on the movie side of things? Because I know you worked together on the music wow. side on your last album. Yeah, I've teamed up with yeah. Alicia quite a bit <laughs> as far as an actress in mm -hmm. Secret Life of Bees, and then on my album as a producer, and now is, as the producer over the um, film Mr. and Pete. So, I think we're a good little team. And um, I love a new song, I Thank Can't you. Describe, featuring T.I. and feel produced good? by Fred. Yeah, <laughs> awesome feel good song. So, what more can we expect from the album? You know what? I want on this album, I feel like, first of all, it's completely different from the other albums, album one and album two, um, as before. But in this album, I want to Jenniferize everyone. I want people to get a sense of who I am as a person through my music and not so much the representative or the spokesperson or the actress or Academy or whatever. Yeah. I want you to know Jennifer, the person through this album. So I feel as, you know, in it, I'm writing more. I'm even in the sitting with the producers and I'm producing my own vocals and basically being an artist and calling more of the shots, I think, on this okay. project. Ready for me, sir? You restacked your courses with the strings, more strings. Okay. Bridges usually feel amazing. Back to the B section. Let me tell my story. That's all I'm trying to do. All right, girl. And are you thinking about touring for the new album once it is released? Definitely. Definitely. Oh my God. I mean, that's a, that's the heart of the album is touring. So, but I want it to be right, you know. And so, I'm in such a different space creatively. So I have so much I want to express and I just want it to be right and which is why I didn't tour on the second album because I'm like, nah, if we're gonna halfway do it, then I don't want to do it at all. Yeah. I want to, you know, step it up a notch. Each album I want to grow, grow, grow and continue to grow. And so I'm looking forward to it for the third album and the tour, okay. if that makes any sense. <laughs> and last, um, 
Have you ever thought about doing a lead role in comedy? Because your skit on Queen Latifah's show for Scandal <laughs> was classic. It was awesome. I am not going to stand in the Rose Garden and hold your hand while you tell the White House press corps that you had an affair with Olivia Pope. He what? Good now that's a scandal. And I am certainly not going to sit in the blue room of the White House and hold your hand while you tell James how you couldn't keep your hands off her on the campaign trail. Somebody going to be sleeping on the couch tonight. I know, that's right. We can retire on this story. Ooh, that's a good idea. How, when you were shot, the name that you called out was Olivia. Bad president, just bad. You ought to be ashamed. Oh, it was classic. It was awesome. Did you I... see the Funny or Die one, though? Yeah. Yes, that okay. was the first one. Then I seen the one with you and Queen standing next to each other. I was, I was dying. I was cracking up. It that was awesome. So funny. That is a goal of mine. I do. I really want to get into comedy because everything I've played to date has been very heavy and mm -hmm. dramatic. But so, and only thing I think I've done light is maybe uh, Three Stooges. Yeah. And that getting my feet wet, right. but I don't mind taking baby steps in anything. But this is like me trying to redirect myself and get more into comedy. Um, so hopefully the Funny or Die or the Scandal thing from uh, Queen Latifah show helps open up the doors because that's something I definitely want to do and plan to do. Okay. Well, I want to thank you again oh. for taking your time out and doing this interview. And thank you. best of luck. On the movie and the next movie, Black Nativity, in November. I know it's Look coming out. Black Nativity is coming yes, up. So, best of luck. Thank you, and good luck to you, too. You <laughs> yes. better get an A. <laughs>